there's mounting opposition as the testing date for New Jersey's first round of park exams grows closer, less than a month out, and critics are raising their voices. If my kids were in school right now, I would refuse to let them take this test. It, it's, it's taking up time, it's taking up curriculum. Reasons like the length, 10 hours, the method of testing, computer-based only, and the type of questions being posed to the 3rd through 11th graders required to take the new standardized test top the list of concerns. I'm seeing a lot more test prep. I'm seeing that the kids are losing their opportunity, opportunities to take electives, and I'm seeing that subjects like, for instance, social studies aren't being taught with the frequency that they should be. So Sarah Blaine's children will be opting out come spring. I taught before No Child Left Behind, so I know what we, could, we can do in schools. I've seen that there are all sorts of other ways that we can assess kids that are meaningful. This is my 14th year in the legislature, um, and I've served virtually all that time on the Education Committee, and I have never, in all of my time in the legislature, had more concern about a particular topic than I have had from Park. Because of that, Assemblyman Patrick Dignan is sponsoring two bills up for discussion and a possible vote in the legislature this week. One will postpone the use of results from Park for three years, making it a pilot program of sorts. The other will ensure that alternate programs are available for students refusing to take the test. I just think the time has come for us to take a time out on the entire process, reevaluate where we're at, make necessary revisions to the test, and then hopefully unitedly go forward. But right, right now, it's, it's really not a healthy situation. Right now, there are about 75 districts with plans in place for students opting out. We don't believe that that is the direction New Jersey should be going. Districts have spent resources, they've spent time in preparing for the park exams. We believe we should go forward. Um, the park exams um, will provide information that will help districts to design curriculum. We're not in favor of this over-testing and this misuse of testing uh, to, to gauge everything else in the world. If it's not informing the students of how they actually worked on that day and informing the instruction of the teachers to make changes school-wide, then everything else that it's asked to use for is really not a valid case. The Department of Education told NJTV News today the assessment will provide meaningful feedback in ways the state has never had before and that any time substantial change occurs, there's bound to be concern. For NJTV News, I'm Brianna Venozzi.